how responsive is quantity demand or quantity supplied to a change in price? In other words, how much does quantity change if price changes? The answer depends on the good or service we are considering and how elastic the demand or supply of that good or service is. Elasticity refers to the responsiveness of something. We use similar terminology with rubber bands. When we discuss how elastic a rubber band is in response to a force applied to cause it to stretch. In economics, this analogy helps us understand how the quantity stretches or responds to the force of changing price. The price elasticity of demand is calculated as the percentage change in quantity is divided by the percentage change in price. Let's first look at the elasticity between point A and point B. First we calculate the percentage change in quantity. Note that we average the denominator before we divide. Then we convert it to a percentage by multiplying by 100. Our percentage change in quantity is 6.9%. Next we calculate the percentage change in price. Note that we divide the denominator by 2 to average it and then we multiply it by 100 to convert it to a percentage. Our percentage change in price is negative 15.4. Finally, we calculate the price elasticity of demand coefficient. Coefficient is a word used to denote a number that helps us measure a property. In this case, the property we are trying to measure is elasticity. We divide our percentage change in quantity by our percentage change in price, and that gives us a price elasticity of demand coefficient of negative 0.45. But note that for price elasticity, we take the absolute value of the coefficient and drop the negative sign. So our price elasticity of demand coefficient becomes 0.45. If our price elasticity of demand coefficient is greater than one, we can say that our product or service is elastic between the points in the curve used in the calculation. If it is equal to one, then it is said to be unitary or unit elastic. If the price elasticity of demand coefficient is less than one, then it is considered inelastic. Let's now compare the price elasticity of demand between A and B to the price elasticity of demand between points H and G on the same linear demand. Will it be the same or different? Here is the calculation, and we see that it is different. Why are these coefficients different? It is because we are calculating relative changes between price and quantity, not merely slope or opportunity cost. The price elasticity of supply is calculated as the percentage change in quantity divided by the percentage change in price. This calculation is performed just like the one shown for price elasticity of demand. The meaning of the size of the coefficient is the same as well. If the price elasticity of supply is greater than one, then it is considered elastic. If it is one, is it is considered unit elastic. And if it is less than one, it is considered inelastic.